Right now it's time for this week's Ask Deanna question. Now, Albuquerque police officer Trish Hoffman was all over the news in 2005 when the runaway bride from Georgia ended up in Albuquerque, and we got to know Trish as the public information officer for APD. Now, we got a question from William Howard out in Twin Lakes. What happened to Trish Hoffman with Albuquerque Police Department? Here's what we found out. Trish Hoffman was the face of the Albuquerque Police Department for four years, but where is she now? I'm a sergeant now and I work in internal affairs, which um, we deal with any um, allegation of misconduct on police officers, sergeants, anyone in our department. She's been in the position for nearly two years. She says it's a big change from public information officer. It's totally different. Um, I went from um, well, one, being on call 24-7 and um, dealing with all the media, and now I'm a, essentially a detective. Even though I'm a, the rank of a sergeant, I'm a detective, and I do um, investigations on officers. She's known best for this picture, escorting the runaway bride through the Sunport back in 2005. I think I'll always be remembered for that. Hoffman was thrown into the spotlight when Jennifer Wilbanks disappeared from her home in Georgia four days before her own wedding. Three days later, she called her fiancé from Albuquerque and falsely claimed she'd been kidnapped and sexually assaulted by an Hispanic male and a white woman. Hoffman was right by Wilbanks' side at the airport. I was all over the news, national news, I was in magazines, and people really, um, for whatever reason, remember that. Hoffman received more than 200 emails about her involvement with the runaway bride, something she didn't realize would be such big news for so long. I thought it was going to be just another kind of call out um, that I would have had. And of course, had I look back on it now and think, man, if I would have known how dynamic it would have been, I would have probably fixed my hair a little bit more. It was like midnight by the time I got out. and threw a police jacket on and I think it was like three days when I finally showered. The attention went beyond news. Hoffman says she received several marriage proposals. She says it's a day she will never forget, but she's happy to continue her police work at Internal Affairs out of the public spotlight. Hoffman will only be in Internal Affairs for a few more months because officers can only hold that position for two years. After that, she says she'd like to get back on the street as a sergeant somewhere in Albuquerque. Well, next week, we already have a question from D Jamie Keaton. Jamie says, I'm a fan of the television series Rifleman, and it took place in North Fork, New Mexico. Is there really a North Fork here in the state? Well, we're going to work on that. Already started the research. You can always email your questions to me at askdiana at krqb.com. Make sure you, you leave me a picture and also your email.